Hi and welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to turn this piece of laburnum. Laburnum is a hardwood with a really pretty chocolatey colored center and a buttery yellow sapwood. I must be hungry. <laughs> I've never turned laburnum before. I'm really looking forward to doing um, this piece. The way I'm going to turn it is slightly different than usual. I am actually going to turn a bowl this way. Normally I would turn a bowl this way with the foot here and the hollow out in the center, but because I want to keep as much of the sapwood as possible, the best way to do that is actually to have the sapwood closest to the top edge. So I'm going to um, mount it on the lathe using my screw chuck and get this bowl started. I use the bandsaw to trim the corners off the piece. I'm going to turn it round, making sure that it's clear of the tool rest. This will be the foot, and this will be where I hollow it out. It's extremely hardwood. It's not cutting very well at all. And I'm going to be sharpening my tool quite often, but I really like the color. Yep, it really is chocolatey brown. I misspoke earlier. With a sharp tool, this is really nice wood to cut. And the way I've got it positioned, it will keep all of the beautiful contrasting sapwood on there. I have the basic shape and my foot. Now the bowl is probably going to end up with a natural edge, sapwood and the heartwood. Only because, whoop, I'll turn it over here. There's um, an, a gap here and if I turn too much of this away, my bowl will end up like being a thimble. So I will um, just turn it around now and see what it looks like with the natural edge. The piece has been shallowed out a little bit. So here's the heartwood, the sapwood, and the bark. I'm not a fan of leaving bark on a piece in most cases. Um, I will this time, just because if I remove all the bark, I'll end up with uh, more like a coaster than a bowl. Uh, what's interesting is that because of the shape of the piece of wood, although it's round, the heartwood makes it look like it's oval. So I'm going to keep hollowing it out and we'll see what it looks like when a bit of more wood has been taken out. I thought my tool rest was secure, but apparently it moved a little bit and actually scraped some of the bark off the high ends of this piece. I'm going to go in and remove a little bit more and just keep bark on the two shallow ends. Um, I guess, I guess the tool rest decided for me. <laughs> I've hollowed it out and kept a little bit of the bark and as much of the pale sapwood as I can. The um, remaining 
need to do is just to sand it inside and out and remove the foot, sign it and seal it. The piece is mounted on the cold jaws. I'm just going to remove the foot. And now it's time to sign it. And there you go. For this piece, I'm going to use my trusty tongue oil to put a nice finish on it. Look at that. This brings up all the colors, making them a little bit brighter. I'm gonna make sure that it's in every little corner and the bark. So that's one coat of tongue oil. I'm going to let it dry overnight, put on a second coat, then let it dry again overnight and buff it. It's already shiny and very, very pretty. It actually turned out better than I anticipated. So quite pleased with it. And I'll show you the finished piece in a little while. The laburnum bowl is finished. Two coats of tongue oil and buffed with carnauba wax. It is very, very shiny. And it turned out much better than I expected it. The wood was easier to turn than I thought. The sapwood was a little softer, but the hard um, heartwood was quite nice to turn. So I'm very pleased with it. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll come back to watch more. Thanks for watching. It's not the same without Colin in the workshop. He's the one who um, videotapes me and makes me laugh. And I love to share that laughter and the bloopers with all of you. Without him here, it's basically just me fumbling over some words that um, I can't get past my mouth, like right now. <laughs> um, but I hope that the video of the wood turning is interesting enough to keep you watching and I hope that uh, when the weather gets nicer, Colin's back in the shop and we can all laugh together. And a buttery lemon, lemon yellow, no, a buttery, whatever, the, okay. Of the sapwood, the light yellow color, as much as, much as I wanna keep, no, I wanna keep as much of it as possible, so I'm going to flip it over. And the bowl, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're still a month and a half away from summer, but I'm really looking forward to spring, as you can tell by my summer haircut. No, we are spring. I'm looking forward to summer. Okay, I gotta start off. Um, adds a little bit of interesting, interesting, adds some interesting whatever. It's still cold out even though it's the middle of spring, but I am looking forward to summer, as you can tell by my summer haircut, and my two lovely t-shirts. So I got these from Jackie at Denwood Designs. She made them for me. This one says, happiest when I'm wood turning, and I know just enough about wood turning to be dangerous. Can't wait till it's warm enough for me to wear these in the shop. And if you're looking for gifts, T-shirts, tumblers, and other gift ideas for friends, family, check out Jackie's Facebook page and her website at Denwood Design.